Hi, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Okay, so if you're new here, hello, <laughs> welcome to my channel. All of the readings that I do are timeless, even though they will be dated for March, they are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it is for you. Um, if you are a previous subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Let's just dive right in, shall we? Okay. Let's see, what deck are we going to start out with? Hmm. Let's do some Love Oracle first. Why not? How are you doing, my beautiful Earth signs? Virgos. After this, I will be doing your sexual energy read, but that will be only on my Patreon. Okay. This camera's a little close to me. Okay. What is happening here? Let's shuffle this Virgo. Sorry if my energy is a little scattered. It's been a day. <laughs> oh, shit. Looks like your energy is scattered too. <laughs> Cards flying out left and right. Okay, these two cards fall out. I don't know if I'm going to take them yet, so I'm going to put them on the side. Three cards for Virgo, please. We have roll the dice. <laughs> so some of you are needing to take a chance, Virgo. Okay. We got friends. So for some of you, this could be a friend that you're friends with and... You're thinking you want to turn it into more. Oh, yeah. There it is. So you're needing to roll the dice on that friendship. See, we got roll the dice. We got friends. And we have anxiety. Virgos are famous for their anxiety. They worry about every fucking thing. <laughs> and don't say I don't know because I was married to a Virgo for six years. I need to get my ends cut. They're really looking bad. I scheduled a hair appointment, but it's not coming soon enough for me. It was just two, two, two on my camera. So Virgo, I was married to a Virgo for four and a half years. <laughs> my ex is a Virgo. I still live with him. My daughter is a Virgo, so I know Virgos. And y'all worry about endless amounts of shit. So I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not judging you. I'm just observing what I've learned about Virgos, okay? You're having some anxiety. There's a friend that you want to turn into more than a friend. And these two cards that came out, I didn't know if I was going to take them, but we are. We have change and we have liquid courage. So this anxiety is leading me to believe that you're going to need some of this, Virgo. <laughs> uh, maybe you need that liquid courage, that little drink. So that you can step up and say, this is how I'm feeling. And it's because your feelings have changed. They've changed as well. Maybe you've watched them and they've blossomed and, you know, turned into that butterfly. Maybe they were in the cocoon. But now you see them rising up and you're thinking, man, like I'm feeling a certain way. So, you know, I don't know. All right. We're going to throw some gypsy witch on this bitch. Can we get two cards in the Gypsy Witch for Virgo, please? Two cards in the Gypsy Witch for Virgo. This lighting feels really fucking shitty right now. I don't know, dude. Whoa. Okay. Virgo. What do our beautiful Virgos need to know? Spirit team, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel for source messages. Two cards for Virgo. Number 17. Ooh. It says the fish is the emblem of riches through stocks. <laughs> uh, number 28. The anchor denotes successful ventures in business and love. Wow. So you're going to be rich. <laughs> and it came out twice. So this is number 17. Seven and one makes eight. And then you got number 28. This says... Success in business and love. So some of you are making some really great financial decisions. It literally says in stock too. 
It says riches through stocks. If you add eight and two, it's also 10. So, and with this anchor, I feel like you, you know, the fish has always represented, you know, riches for me, but the fact that you got the anchor, it's like you're anchoring in these really great energies in regards to your life and your love life. Why am I so out of breath? Some of you Virgos are experiencing some serious anxiety right now because I am seriously out of breath connecting to your energy. And I do not get anxious. I don't have anxiety. I've never had panic attacks. I think I had one panic attack in my whole entire life. So I don't get anxious. So I'm definitely picking up on somebody's energy of anxiety. Okay. All right. Let's do four of these and four of the Light Sears Tarot for... I almost said Taurus for some reason. Um, Virgo, it's the other earth sign. Maybe that's why. Is that what Taurus is thinking about me? <laughs> um, and then we're going to do some romance angels. Why do you, why did your cards keep flying the fuck out, Virgo? What's going on? Okay, so the card that flew out is the Ten of Wands. So be careful that you're not overworking yourself. That's just a side message. I guess it really doesn't have anything to do with love, but they wanted me to take, say that because. Okay, so the reason you have not come forward is because the person that you have your sights on is a queen of swords. So basically she's a fire sign. <laughs> and maybe her energy intimidates you as most fire sign energies do with earth signs. He or she, I guess I should say. But it looks like a divine feminine. That's why I say she, because it's queen of swords. Two more for Virgo, please. Wow, we got the wheel of fortune. So now is the time to like, to make the decision. Like, I feel like you've been like working too hard at like, motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucking Virgos, y'all. Shit. See, oh, we got the three of swords. See, it comes out every Virgo read. I'll be surprised the day that the three of swords does not come out in a Virgo read because y'all Virgos like to nurse that heartache like a uh, cat licking cream. You just live for it, dude. Okay. So we have seven of pentacles, which shows me you've been working really hard at this connection with whoever this person is you know but you've been just doing it in your head like you probably i don't even know if you've there's your card it's on the bottom of the deck <laughs> so i feel like you have been working out scenarios in your head of how you're going to approach this person but here's the kicker it's all in your head like you haven't came forward with a with a viable plan but it's because of this. This came out as a side energy, okay? Three of swords. And again, that, you know, it was crossing or on top of this. This came out first as a side energy. And then this. It flew out. And I call those side energy cards. And I put them to the side just in case I need them. Just in case somehow they tie into the reading. And most likely they usually do. Because like spirits is not going to throw out a card unless it means something. So you've been doing way too much too much shit in your head you're just overthinking shit and it's because of this past heartbreak you gotta let that shit go it comes up every damn virgo read <laughs> every read and it's like y'all ain't ready y'all ain't ready y'all ain't ready y'all ain't ready and that's fine but while you're not ready this love is gonna pass you by that's all i'm gonna say whoever it is okay Right now, the universe is saying it's a perfect time to actually come forward and try to change whatever friendship that you have with this Queen of Swords. Because look, it's the Wheel of Fortune. That means fate is in your favor. If you give it a shot, whether it works out or not, this is something that you have to do for your life path. Whether it's just to get that courage up so that you can learn that lesson of courage and, and you know, just sort of balls up or whatever, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, because that, I feel like that's a major important lesson for you, especially with this wheel of fortune. It represents lessons. It represents, you know, fate, um, the fates, the wheel spinning. We got three of wands too, which shows me that you've been thinking about your future and thinking about what your future love life is going to look like. 
And you sitting there fantasizing about what you want your future to look like with whatever person is not going to is not going to do anything unless you take divine action towards that those thoughts. I mean, you can try to manifest the hell out of someone, but and, and let me tell you something right now. If if you are trying to manifest a divine feminine and she is the queen of swords. There is no way that she's going to come and manifest magically into your life. You're going to have to take steps towards this queen of swords because they are independent. They're in their, the most divine feminines are in their goddess energy. And look on the bottom of the deck. This is her energy again, the empress. She's sitting pretty thinking, um, hello. And so like, <laughs> she's not worried about you know, a, a divine masculine. She's too busy living her best life. So you're going to have to be the one to make that move forward. I'm just letting you know. And right now, I don't see you making that move because you are in hermit mode. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So we're going to do, <laughs> I mean, and that's, that's Virgo's energy. So it's all good. All right. Um, let's do four cards from the light seers. And then we'll do three from the Romance Angels, and we're going to call it a reading, okay? I want to keep this video under 20 minutes if I can. All right, three cards for my beautiful Virgos. But I think it's about time y'all got out of that heartbreak um, energy. It's just, oh my God, fucking cards just flying out. Okay. I don't think those side energy cards are really pertain to this reading it's like four of cups or something I don't, know. I don't know maybe you are maybe you're bored with your life maybe that's the only reason you want to fall in love <laughs> all right three of pentacles so um could be third party energy either you know your divine feminine might be involved with someone you might be involved with someone there could be you know axes involved i don't know maybe they still are involved with their ex maybe that's why you know what though i see a lot of competition for this person so i see also you're really trying to manifest this person but like i said unless you take inspired action towards this divine feminine energy now it's not about sex or gender but this person is showing up as a divine feminine because it's the queen of swords it's a feminine energy so she's showing up as Queen of Swords and Empress. We got the Magician here and the Star. So I see you trying to manifest the shit out of this person. But like I said, unless you make steps towards, I don't really see any movement. And I feel like what's holding you back is third party energy either on, on this um, person's end or on your end and third party energy in, in your end could be anything. It could be a family member that's interfering. I mean, she could have family members interfering. Um, the five of wands came out right next to it. So this is conflict. So, you know, like I said, conflict, third party energy, other people interfering in your love life. Also five of wands is about competition. So other people are noticing this person. So just so you know that, Virgo, because if you don't step forward, then, you know, sh this divine feminine energy might not be around for much longer. That's all I'm going to say. All right. So the magician shows me that you're trying to manifest this person. But like I said, I don't see any movement. We have the star, which is hope. You know, there is a chance. But like I said, you have to take divine um, steps towards this person. I don't know. I, I can't read your energy or your person's energy. Like, I don't, I can't tell if this is your energy or, you know, your person's energy because you guys are just so intertwined. So it's really hard to tell, Virgo, but. All right. Can we get the last three cards for Virgo? What's going to happen? Yep, see, you got heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You're going to have to come forward and let this person know, hey, I'm I'm feeling like this, and... Oh, I don't know, though, Virgo. This is showing that this person is not feeling the same way as you. <laughs> so, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, right? And then we have unrequited love. This says, 
there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this could be a friend that you have fallen in love with, but I have a feeling that the feelings are not going to be reciprocated. So, I mean, you, I guess you'll know in your heart of hearts, whether you think that the feelings are reciprocated or not, your soul will know. Um, and then after that, we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So yes, I do see that you have very strong feelings for this person. Now, whether or not they're reciprocated, I don't know. It's, the cards are showing that it's not. But like I said, only you'll know. Don't follow my advice. Follow your heart. <laughs> all right. We're, I guess we're all done. Let me, let me, okay. Let me pull one more card. We'll do... I'll do one more card from the Life Sears for you and see if I can get an outcome for you. It was fifteen fifty-five, so five five five. All right, do we got an outcome for Virgo? Let's see if it's gonna end well if Virgo comes forward and tries to change this friendship. Okay, can we get one art outcome card for Virgo, please? And then I'm gonna move on to your sexual energy read, which is gonna be only on my Patreon. All right, can we get an outcome card for Virgo, please? One, just one, just to wrap it up. What else, what else does Virgo need to know about this person? Knight of Cups. So, this is only showing me that you have extreme romantic feelings for this person. Um... You know, this is showing Knight of Cups, which is divine masculine energy of romance. And, you know, Knight of Cups is one of the most romantic cards in the deck. But this is just showing a divine masculine with romantic feelings. So if I'm doing this reading and it's for a divine masculine, I feel like this is just your energy. Um, so they're not really showing me that your person has the same feelings. So I don't really know, I guess. You're just going to have to take that leap of faith and find out, Virgos. I'm sorry. All right. I love you. If you want to book a reading with me, all of my prices are in my description box. So all you have to do is click the little um, arrow underneath my video box and it pops up my description. Please, if you feel so guided, um, check out my son's channel. He's the only channel that is in my featured channels. Check out my Etsy shop. I do have my Lemurian Love Deck on sale there. Uh, what else? If you feel so guided to tip me, I also have two ways you can tip me. I have Cash App and I have PayPal. There's a little tiny fruit fly in here. Uh, I guess that's it, Virgos. I love you. I'm going to do your sexual energy read and that's going to be posted on my Patreon. All right. Thanks, Virgo. Bye.